guys I want to do an update on my Apple watch I've had my watch for almost um, over a month now and I want to do an update I have notes here so that's why I keep looking this way um, and I haven't done one so I thought well let me do it before you know it's too long um, after I've had it I want to hurry up and do an update for you guys um, I went all day Sunday without using my iPhone um, I refused to use it because I wanted to see the purpose of me getting the Apple Watch was because I could use it without having my phone around. And so I wanted to test that out to see how it would work if I could really depend solely on my Apple Watch. So um, I went all day without using it. I had to do things like I had to send a text. I had to use maps to search for a restaurant. Um... And it was pretty much all easy peasy. You know, texting, you can talk into your um, Apple Watch. You can talk into it. And then, or you can write, you can dictate it. I mean, you can dictate or you can scribble. And with the maps, it's pretty much like your phone. You can search for a restaurant by um, just going to see the restaurants that are nearby. Or you can, you can say a name of a restaurant. Now, I didn't know the name. Well, I couldn't say the name because it was actually a mis uh, authentic Mexican restaurant. So I didn't know how to say the name. So what I had to do was I had to um, search for it and spell it the best way I could. But it pulled it up. It was all very, very easy. Um, easier than I thought it would be because, you know, it's my Apple Watch. And, you know, your Apple Watch is much smaller. So I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was. Some things that I did miss, though was things like the safari um there i don't have social media on mine because i only have facebook i don't have any other social media um and there is no actual facebook app for the apple watch um but you know i don't really miss if i can't get on facebook it, i don't really miss it because i usually use facebook you know to try to be encouraging like you know if i read something if i'm doing devotionals and i read something and I think, oh, this would encourage somebody else to encourage me. Then um, I'll share it, or I'll share our um, vlogs also. So it really didn't bother me that much to not be able to get on social media. But if Facebook is your thing and you're constantly checking it, then if you don't have your phone and you only have your Apple Watch, that may bother you. I know Instagram, I think, I'm thinking now, I know I looked up different social medias to see which one was on the Apple Watch. I think Instagram does have an app for the Apple Watch. Um, just Facebook doesn't have one. Not to my knowledge. Now, last time, when I first got my Apple Watch five weeks ago, you know, everything is downloaded from your phone onto your Apple Watch that is, if, if there is an app for the Apple Watch, your phone, once you connect the two, it go ahead, it will download everything from your phone onto your Apple Watch. And so it didn't download Facebook and I searched. And I didn't see an actual Facebook app. I saw things that people had came up with, but not the actual Facebook app. The Bible app is limited. Um, you can read your daily um, scripture. Um, what else can you do on the Bible app? It's very limited. You can read your daily scripture. I'm going to have to look at it because I forgot. You can read your daily scripture. And... You can see what is trending. And I think that's pretty much it. And you can see your highlights, your bookmarks, and your images. But if I just wanted to go to Genesis and pull up Genesis, I can't do that. Um, so that's one thing I don't like. And I know they probably do it for memory purposes. It would be a lot to try to store. So they try to make the apps as less memory as possible. Um, but I do miss the the Bible app is limited. Um there were some other things that I thought about and I didn't write them down. If I don't write things down, I forget. Um, one of the things that I love, 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 though, is my um, ex the exercise app right here. This is the one that I use for exercising. This is the one that is on here so that I can keep up with my movement. I can keep up with um, my activity for the day. So, the red ring is my move activity, the green ring is my exercise, and, and the blue ring is for how much I stand throughout the day. And so, I get to set how many, set how many calories I want to burn, which you see, I set mine to 400. I had it at 600, no, I had it at 
800 because that's how many calories I used to burn when I was very adamant about my exercising and I sort of slacked off and so I had to be realistic like Tamika you're never going to meet that goal if you keep it at 800 so I put it down to 400 and I've been meeting that for the last three weeks so I really need to up it some I'm just too lazy to do it right now so I will up that pretty soon as you can see I haven't done my exercises for today um, I do that after I um, get home from picking up the girls from school so I haven't done that yet as you can see um, and the standing I've been at work all day so I've you know, been moving around a lot so that's why I've um, almost met that as okay so I'm going to go to the exercise app I love this too these are my pictures um, that I, just, I can just click through here and see my family throughout the day so I love that I can do that you can have your um, desktop and it can just have several pictures where you just click through throughout the day so I get to see my family I do like that um, so this is the exercise app I use and oops I didn't hit done for yesterday um, I was cut up my exercise and yesterday I didn't have 30 minutes to do it all at one time so I had to do um, 15 and 15 yesterday um, but I just now that since I've used the elliptical one so much it just pops up and I just click that and it will start it'll say she'll count you down three two one and then you know you just start working out on your elliptical or whatever you may want to do you may want to do indoor walking you may want to do outdoor walking outdoor run outdoor cycle indoor run I'm sorry guys so whatever you want to do is in there if it's not in the list you can do other and then you can name it after the exercise so then it will be in here for you next time if you have an exercise that you want to do that's not in this list. So I think Apple has covered it all. They've thought about everything. Um, so those are two apps that I use daily. The exercise apps. That's the reason why I got my Apple Watch because I wanted to increase my exercising, get back on track with that because I had totally gotten off with my exercising. And so it has helped me get back on track and start being more dedicated to my exercising um you know i'm back to exercising like i should be seven days a week and um i was not doing that at all before you know it was like i went down to five and i went down to two then i went down to three so it's helped me get back on track another thing that i that i like i haven't used yet but i do like it is the wallet app i'm sorry this thing goes to sleep i need to fix that it goes to sleep so fast I like the wallet app. It has all of my my reward cards in here. So I can just flip through and find my reward that I want to use. Say I want to go to Starbucks. I've had that steak and shake. Guys, I've had that steak and shake reward on here forever. And I haven't used it yet. But say I want to go to Starbucks. Nope. Stop. Say I want to go to Starbucks. I just click that. And my barcode comes up there and I have never used my watch I always pull out my phone it's just automatic for me to pull out my phone but it would probably be easier for me to use my watch because I could get my hand at that scanner closer than you can your um, phone and the scan scan code is bigger on your watch so then my scan comes up my scan code comes up there and I just scan it like I would with my phone um, so Starbucks is one that I would use a lot as you see I need to reload anybody want to reload my card for me but Starbucks is one I use a lot and Chick-fil-A. I scan Chick-fil-A a lot. Like I said, I've used my I use my phone like all the time. The girls go to Chick-fil-A several times a week. So I use my phone all the time. I forget, Tamika, it's on your Apple Watch. I just forget when I'm at checkout. I don't think about it. Um so that's another app that I like. Um that I need to start using it. When I remember, I will. I just forget. I just automatically flip out my phone. Some other things that I use are, I have used, um, flashlight. I use that for the first time today. And it gives off, in a dark room, it does give off a lot of light. You know, more light than you think it would. I've used the flashlight today. Um, I also use, um, I talk to Siri all the time. Um, so if I'm driving, it's just more convenient. I could just say, Hey Siri, call my hubby. Um, or Hey Siri, call blah, blah, blah. So I use Siri all the time. Or Hey Siri, text mahogany. And of course she'll say, what do you want to say? So it's very convenient when you're driving. You don't have to be, um, you shouldn't be anyway, but I know a lot of people are tempted 
tempted, and so you're not tempted to. to Oh, says, see? Call blah, blah, blah. So I'm just <laughs> saying, Elsa, or hey, Siri, text. She's, I said that. Ready now she's trying it? to text on my phone. But anyway, my my watch is doing the same thing. But anyway, you don't have to be fumbling for a phone if you're the type of person that likes to text and drive. You just talk to Siri on your wrist, and you don't have to fumble for a phone. Another thing, I'm trying to tell you guys everything that I've used. Um... Another thing that I've used, it has a calculator. Um, so if you're in a store and you just want to know what a percentage off is, that's very convenient. It's on your arm. I've used that. Um, and so it just has a lot of things. The camera function, I've used that. It's like a remote. So you can set up your phone and through your Apple Watch, you, you can be in the picture. You can mash, you can mash um, the button and it'll take the picture for you. Um, so those are some of the things that I fooled around. I tried to fool around with everything. So I'm pretty sure I've forgotten some stuff that I have used to tell you guys about. But I've messed around with so much, so many things on here. Um, the timer, I love the timer. I've used that. Um, I don't really use the alarm. Lavar sets the alarm, and he wakes everybody up in the mornings. So I don't have to do that. Um, but that, I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting some. I'm trying to remember everything. But I'm pretty sure I am forgetting some things. But those are the things that I've used. I want to use some more things. Um, so I'm going to continue to look for stuff. Um, so I can get the most out of this watch. I have a screen protector on here. That's what you guys are seeing. When you look at it around the edges, it's peeling. Um, best Buy put it on. They say I can bring it back if it starts to peel. So I'm going to have to take it back and get another screen protector put on here. It won't keep the screen from cracking. But it'll keep me from scratching the screen if I hit it up. You know, I hit my watch all the time on stuff. And so I know from my previous watches I do that. And I didn't want to scratch the screen. So I put a screen protector on here. Um, like I said, the reason why I decided to get one this time around, the Apple Watch 3 Series, is because I can use it separate from my phone. I don't have to have my phone around. And it worked out perfect Saturday, Sunday. Um, I didn't miss, you know, not having my phone at all. I was able to use my watch for everything that I needed. So if you're thinking about getting Apple Watch, you're on the fence about it, um, the Series 3 sort of made up for the reasons why I didn't get one in the Series 1 and 2. Um, because the watch is totally um, independent of your phone and you don't have to have your phone to use the watch. Um, so it's convenient. I can be out shopping, leave my phone in my purse, and I don't have to fumble for it when I need it. I have my watch on my arm. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like our Drake Family TV um, channel. Remember to subscribe. And remember to tell others about our channel. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.